All right, so here we are with a uh, another box break. There uh, we're looking at the uh, Panini Draft Picks 2021 College Football Trading Cards. Um, we are looking at the Blaster Box, so five cards per pack, six cards per box. Okay, um, what we're trying to do is we're trying to aim for the purple wave prism so that'll be a purple bordered uh, card okay um as you can see there it's a fully sealed brand new box that i've received from our uh, our good friends at uh, dg collectibles um, so if you do want to go and um, source any of your uh, cards i would and you're in Sydney, I would go to uh, DG Collectibles and uh, the link will be in the description for uh, DG Collectibles. We're also going to be looking out for the ultra rare on campus insert card and we're also going to look for the green pulsar uh, prism cards which are numbered up to 25. So let's get this box opened and uh, see, see what we've got. It's actually quite a nice box. I really don't, a little part of me doesn't really want to open it, but um, I can see that we've, uh, well, basically to see what's inside of it, I've got to open it up. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, the 2020 national champion from uh, Clemson there. So uh, yeah, look, let's see if we can actually get a Trevor Lawrence card or a, uh, something decent out of this box now i'm finding that the panini prism series is quite a good series uh to get your hands on um honestly i actually like the look of their cards a lot better than what i do the um any of the other series that i've had so even though we did want the tops chrome and we've only done the uh the uh, baseball prism blaster box last time. Um, I think I did do one on Instagram as well, which I would say um, was another football football one. But we do have a couple of uh, older boxes coming up in the next couple of weeks as well. All right, so he's hoping that we get something decent out of uh, these out of uh, these uh, six packs. All right, so as you can tell, as always, uh, packets of cards are being a bit painful to get out of. Okay. All right, so we've got that, got that box open there now. Nice little picture of Trevor Lawrence here. We'll just, we will, uh, won't get him in shot because you all know what Trevor Lawrence looks like. Um, if you're a college football fan, uh, Mr. Clemson himself. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six uh, packets of the Panini uh, Prism Draft Pick college football cards. Now let's just see what uh, pack number one brings us today. Well, even though the college football season's over, I am somewhat missing somewhat missing it and uh, usually it's a pretty busy time for myself with uh, recording uh, things for uh, the the podcast there as well which we will have coming out all right so what we've got is we've got an LSU Jamar Chase rookie card so Jamar Chase uh, number one there for the LSU Tigers uh, that looks looking like a base card. Hey, we got another rookie card of Pat uh, Frymouth from the Penn State Nitty Lions. Whoops. Now just going into the insert here, let's just see what we've got here. I think I've revealed the name already. And we've got from Wake Forest, a Crusade Jamie Newman card. I was going to have a look at the back, see if that's numbered to anything at all. No, nothing's numbered at all to anything. 
So, uh, yeah, usually uh, if you find something decent, there'll be like a solid um, one of 25 or whatever in there, written in gold. So that's our first insert card of the box. All right, now from Boston College, Matt Ryan. We've got, uh, oh, a little bit out of shot there too. Trust me to do something like that. Um, Boston College Eagles there, Matt Ryan, quarterback. And we've also got a Gardner Minshew, the second from, I don't know who that's, that school's from, Washington State. <laughs> Very quick, if you have a look at the back there. So a couple of rookie cards in there, also a couple of older players, and that insert there for the Jamie Newman uh, rookie insert card there from Wake Forest from the ACC. All right, so, all right, on to pack number two now. Let's see what we can get out of this second pack. Hopefully we can get some uh, decent hits here. All right, so our first card. Hey, uh, Justin Fields Crusade from the from the Ohio State University. Uh, not a big uh, Justin Fields fan, not a big Ohio State fan, but all of you Ohio State fans out there would actually love that card. Okay. And the next one we've got is from Virginia Tech. Caleb Farley, an All-Americans rookie card. So, uh, again, just going to have a look and see if that is uh, numbered at all. No, no numbered card on that one. So that's another nice looking insert there with the American flag. Um, we uh, There we go. We've got our, uh, our green pulsar prism, which is going to be numbered to 25 from the most hated team in college football today, Alabama, uh, Jerry Judy. Uh, I do want to see, just going to put down these other cards and just see what we've got as far as the numbering is concerned, because I think that is one of the Green Pulsar Prism cards um, that they have... Uh, Inserted into that uh, blaster box there. Still looking for the uh, the one purple wave prism there as well. So Jerry Judy. No, I got a little. I think I got a little excited for nothing. There's um, nothing there saying that it's numbered to twenty five at all. So hey, still a nice looking card overall though. One of those cards that, uh, if it was anyone else but Alabama, I'd be more than happy to, to keep. So I'll be looking to get rid of that one ASAP. All right, so out of our next base cards, we've got Brendan Ayuk from the Sun Devils, so the Arizona, Arizona State Sun Devils. And then last but not least out of this packet, we got a Lamar Jackson from the uh, University of Louisville. Looks like that one's been cut up, a, might be cut up a little bit. Panini's lately not been uh, too good as far as the college cards are concerned. Don't know why. A lot of them are gonna be rookies in, uh, in a few years time. Probably actually worth a decent amount of money. All right, so. He's hoping, all right, so that's what, pack number two down. All right, so two down, four to go. Let's see what this one brings us. Let's see if it's just a bunch of hot garbage or, is, or if it's something decent. All right, having a little bit of ish, technical issues with uh, opening this pack up at the moment. <laughs> As always, I've always got an issue with something. All right, so we got a Micah Parsons from the rookie card there from uh, Penn, St 
from the Penn State Nitty Lions. We've got a Daz Newcomb from the North Carolina Tar Heels. Oh look, here we go, another green insert card there from the University of Minnesota, Rashad Bateman. And we got from the Florida State Seminoles, Dalvin Cook. Now I just want to check that green card there. Yeah, the Rashad Bateman's got absolutely nothing there, so it's not one of the uh, green pulsar prisms that are numbered to 25 that we're looking for. Dalvin Cook from the uh, Florida State Seminoles there. And the final card in this packet from the uh, Washington Huskies, you've got Tyler Lockett. Tyler Lockett being the white, one of the wide receivers. Um, yeah, look, he's uh, quite a decent player, that kid, and uh, hopefully he goes far. All right, so we're now down to the final three packets in this uh, very, another quick card break, just to, something to do, keep everybody out of trouble. Um, again, we will be looking to uh, do some more work on the Star Spangled Sports Cast there, uh, hopefully each and every week now. Um, we'll probably drop one of these card breaks once a week and then uh, just a roundup of what's happened in the world of sports in the US. On, on the other video throughout the week, so what we've got there is we've now got a... Uh, Crusade Kadarius Tony card. I'm liking the look of these Crusade cards. I'm really liking the look of them. Like they look really, really good, especially with the shield in behind it. Hopefully, we'll get something decent next as well. All right. So, next card's going to be a base card. Fuck yes! Fuck yes, University of Texas, Hook'em Horns, Sam Ellinger, quarterback. Thank you, Panini Prism. Finally got something that I was looking for. We're still looking, off, looking out for that Trevor Lawrence card. But uh, Sam Ellinger, uh, rookie card there, still really, really good pull. All right, so let's have a look at the, this next one, this next one. We've got purple, so that's the purple wave prism that you get one in every uh, blaster box on average there. Ah, Miles Sanders from uh, Penn State Nitty Lions there. Still a nice looking card. Do like the colouring and the, um, the cut that colourway on there as well. All right, let's see what we've got next. Let's see if we can get a couple of more decent cards. All right, so we've, looks like we've got somebody from a college that I might not be too uh, in depth with. Okay, so it's from the University of Texas at El Paso there. Aaron Jones or A.A. Ron Jones, if you uh, want to make a little bit of fun of him. Um, so the UTEP miners there um, in the con Conference USA uh, conference. So don't expect them to uh, be winning a national championship or anything like that anytime soon. But still, can't complain, another Texas boy. And the final card, another base card. Julio Jones from Alabama. Don't know how many cousins uh, he had relations with in Alabama, but hey, we all know what they're up to, those guys over there. All right. All right, final two packs. I'm just going to hope to God that I get a Trevor Lawrence. A Trevor Lawrence would be really nice at this point in time. Not necessary, and maybe another couple of uh, 
players from the University of Texas instead would uh, make me a little bit more excited. All right, so here we go. All right, so we'll get that out of the way. First card from TCU, so that is Texas Christian University, Trayvon Murray. That's a base card there. And we've got a Najee Harris All-Americans from the University of Alabama. Um, again, between the All-Americans and the, um, the, wave, the wave cards, I do prefer the All-Americans there. Uh, the Crusades ones are the, are the ones that I really, really love. But if you take a look at that All-Americans there uh, with the American flag as he's running through it, it does look really, really nice. All right. So our next card. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Here we go. From the worst university in America, Oklahoma. And there's a Baker Mayfield green uh Looks like a green insert there. Less I say about him, the better. Hey, from the North Dakota State University, Carson Wentz. And that's just a base card and the final base card in that pack. It's gonna be Larry Fitzgerald from uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, still no Trevor Lawrence at all. What I might do is I might extend this video out if I can because I do have another box there. I do have another box there if yeah, I might do that. That might might be something I might do and make up my mind just before we just after we get into this last uh, packet here. All right. Ooh, that looks a little bit nasty on the back there, but we'll see what that card is. All right, so from Oregon State, the Beavers, uh, Hamilton Crescent Jr. base card. We've also got an Elijah Mitchell from uh, Louisiana Raging Cajuns base card. The next one is an All-American Pat Ferramuth from the Penn State University Green Insect All-Americans. Oh, now that one pops. With That one does pop, that card there. I think that might actually start to become the, the favourite of the, uh, the lot. Okay, then uh, from Eastern Illinois, we've got Jimmy Garoppolo. And then another uh, Oregon State University beaver, Brandon Cooks. All right, so got some decent cards there, some really nice looking ones. Personally, myself, that one, that's going to get tossed, that Baker Mayfield's going to get tossed in the bin. Um, I'm going to definitely keep that Pat Ferramuth Penn State one. That one's a good looking one. The Najee Harris All-Americans. Even these Crusade cards look really good, like from the Florida Gators. Yeah, you got Kadarius Tony and Caleb Farley, All American, Justin Fields, and Jamie Newman there in the Crusade pile. Look, thanks very much again for uh, spending the last what. 20 odd minutes with me going through some cards not going to break open the big box of uh, panini prisms that i've got so far i just want to uh see well actually i am excited to open up that that'll be possibly in a couple of weeks time um just keep an eye out on youtube and instagram um that's where i'll be uh letting everybody know where the card when the card breaks are going to be released and also uh any new episodes of the star spangled sports cards that are that will be recorded um again drop a 
if you do like any of our videos please like and subscribe and uh, share them with your friends i just hope you have a uh, great day and uh, stay safe guys